Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of Stonehearth. The, the Archipelago campaign. So, uh, I realized the other day, uh, the, in the last episode, I'm actually standing up because I've been sitting for the last little while trying to figure out um, why I had the little icon show up for the bad guy that uh, said it was an easy mode. And I realized I installed a mod a while ago because I wanted to... Um, Test out a couple mods and maybe do some mod spotlights and stuff. So I installed a mod earlier about um, for easy mode and all that stuff. And I actually um, incorporated this save into it. I basically threw it over like had a whole other install and put this over there and basically turned the mod on and wanted to see what it was and all that stuff. And I didn't realize is I was actually in that version of the game. I actually wasn't in our version. So I, uh, I was in the wrong one. <laughs> so I just converted everything back over. It's no big deal. Um, there's all the stuff I could sell. There, there's a fine chair. But yeah, everything's pretty much the exact same. Uh, all the easy mod did, uh, it made bad guys, I think it was, uh, 10%. No, it made it, uh, I think it was like 30 or 40% easier to kill or something like that. Yeah, it was something, something along those lines. So we're back on normal. Uh, just building up our, uh, our little things here. So we built, we're building an herbalist. And, uh, sorry, the herbalist here, and then on the right here, we're going to be building the cook's uh, place there. Um, off screen a little bit, I uh, leveled up the two of them, and uh, basically just got them leveled up so I can get the signs going. Other than that, yes, uh, that Ogo guy still has not shown up. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Uh, the next thing we're going to be doing, if I can get my blacksmith up to that level uh, soon will be to um, get ourselves... Oh, actually, no. It's not a black... Yeah, our blacksmith. Um, can you build one of these yet? He can't until that's done. Um, cool. Uh, so once the our blacksmith is leveled up to the next level, we can actually get ourselves an engineer going. Um, I think to get an engineer, it's only... Is a blacksmith only that can become an engineer? Uh, where is engineer? Yeah, so it's only a blacksmith only who can become an engineer. So the plan will be to uh, level them up as basically level up. He needs to be a level one blacksmith, which is no big deal. So what the plan is going to be? This is going to sound really funny, but I'm going to get a blacksmith, get him going, and then I'm going to hire. I'm I'm actually going to tell him to become a trapper, and bring someone else in and level that other person up. So. Why do I have someone? Why does this have a heart here? Is it is it this? Or is it the door? Something here took damage. I don't know what it is, but something took damage. But our engineer will fix it later. Uh, but yeah, so the plan is because we only need a level one uh, level one uh, blacksmith. So the plan will be just to basically throw our blacksmith so he doesn't do any work um, as a trader. Remember his name, and then once it's done, throw him back as a blacksmith. So I think they remember their their jobs like oh actually i don't know if they do all right so quickly anybody uh leave a comment if you know this if you could transfer uh, a character over actually we can probably test that out right now with one of our farmers actually what am i doing i can make a farmer an herbalist i think or something like that or just a worker um ba -ba 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 -ba. what is one of our level three farmer change jobs uh, it's Dora Zedro. You're now a s footman. Wait till she switches over. Okay. Now you're a farmer again. And let's see if she switches back and is now level three. Yeah, level three farmer. Okay, so you don't lose any of your uh, your skills. Perfect. So the plan will be then to switch our blacksmith over once he's uh, good to go. They're gonna do whatever. Why are you? Why are you there? That doesn't make sense. Um, also, the next plan will be to get a trapper going uh, as well, like an actual trapper. And the plan there is actually to get. Uh, so let's build that, get that trapper thing going right now. 
Uh, the plan will be to get a trapper going, so we can actually get a, 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 a herder, I think it's called, or a shepherd. I think it's a shepherd. Uh, yep, yeah, a shepherd going. We want a, a couple of them, actually. Because um, we want sheep, rabbits, and something else. Chickens. So actually, I need to get three of these guys going here. So we'll build three for now, and then just let that go. Basically, what the plan will be to do is throw um, a, a trapper in here, make a like a large trapping area. I'm gonna probably set up this area here as our trapping area, kind of move it away from this location. Um, or actually, I might even set it up up here. They say I just want to make it really big. So, uh, they can level up a lot quicker. And then the plan is to use, uh, we're actually going to edge out this here and this. And we're going to make two or three large pens or areas in here for, uh, for our animals. Then the plan will be, and I might actually even take out this a little bit maybe. Or not. Or actually, I might even make it, actually, I might make our pens up here. Like right here. And just do clear this out and just do three cut it basically into three we'll do chickens sheep and rabbits make some food you can also kind of do chickens sheep and rabbit like this maybe then do it here again maybe we'll do chickens chickens sheep sheep rabbit rabbit um I don't know. I gotta come up with a good, uh, good little layout. I want to have a, a, a fair amount of each. So that when we go and call the herd, we don't have to worry too much. So close. A stray goblin wolf. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So it looks like they're starting to spawn down here now. So they remember they're going to spawn here, here, unless they're now too close to our buildings, and here. I have to keep that in mind. You are building still, right? You are. Okay, you're just building really slowly. I mean, nervous there for a second that we ended up glitching out. Uh, yeah, so one of the ideas I had was to build a uh, a storage building. I realize that that's going to kind of defeat the purpose of having everyone here have their own storage. Um, the plan is this here, the, all this stuff here. Um, we're going to have a... Well, this here is going to be all food, basically. And I'm going to put a big storage spot down here. Um, and we're going to get rid of all these, maybe. But the plan is, all this is just going to be food storage. That's it. Then we have our spare beds down there, just in case people don't have enough places to sleep. Uh, and we're running out of something. What are we running out of? We ran out of wood. Holy crap. That actually just happened. I have never run out of wood playing this game before. But that should fix that problem. Uh, what I'm gonna do? Yeah, cause all right, now they have they sh they now apparently they have enough wood. Okay, perfect. They got everything else. Okay. Well, so I was trying to figure out what. Uh, no. So I was trying to figure out how I should do a upper echelon of people. A, a higher group, like that. The tier two people, so to speak. The higher end echelon of society. And I realized the higher echelon of people would probably want, you know, 
the a better area an area for themselves so what i'm probably going to do is build a bridge going across here and on this tier up here is where we're actually going to build most of the tier two buildings which is mostly just residential anyways uh, and then it's going to have a little row a little like staircase that kind of comes down this way and then we'll have some like shops and markets maybe in this area here so i have like the rich area town like this area over here maybe gonna clear out the, the layer there uh you don't scare me so yeah so the plan might be to kind of wall up this area and then build a bridge across so I actually build like actual fortifications like an actual castle right here and then on the castle on one of the, the battlements I actually have a bridge that goes across to another battlement over here which is then fortified around I'm probably gonna level that out and take that corner piece out kind of go like here, here like that uh, same thing with that uh, maybe that one as well or even just kind of go around those but the plan will be to kind of have all the rich people and really high-end stuff up here uh, my artistic abilities are not the best for warning but yeah so that's gonna be the next plan big big plan it's gonna be to build a massive massive wall around there basically or not even a massive wall kind of like a castle-esque thing over here uh, which means we're gonna need a lot of, we're, we're gonna need a lot of uh you know stone and stuff like that so we're pretty much gonna hollow this out is what we're pretty much gonna do but as i've told a lot of people one of the things we got to worry about is obviously keeping things we'll say steady when it comes to doing too much So like one of our priorities for the next little bit will still be to get uh, our cattle thing going on here. Going on here. Um, unfortunately, since the game won't let us place dirt, what I would have loved to do is level out this area here. Uh, but I'm worried we're going to hit something else. So if I can, I want to level out this area and make this whole area our cattle area. Like, and even level out like this so it's all flat and then basically there's just going to be a big a big gate here and then stairs coming down like a huge big thing of stairs so all our cattle and all that stuff will be here a big entrance will be here uh, one of the other ideas was actually set up by uh, uh was actually mentioned by a buddy of mine which was to flatten out this area and make this our cattle area and then have it kind of come up to this area which is where all the market is and then come down some more stairs here maybe to uh to some stuff it's one of those things where it's kind of kind of interesting none the nonetheless of it all the different ideas and builds we can get and all the different little build options and, and choices and chances that we can do so i'm i'll admit it'll be interesting to see uh how it goes They're still placing the stuff there. Uh, we got some thieves showing up here. Where are they? Okay. They're all right here. So... I was gonna say they better start attacking someone else here. Bam, ba -da -da, bam, bam. What are they doing? Oh, okay. You know what? Let's raid this. Let Let's get rid of this uh, little base over here. Uh, yeah, we're good. Watermelon. Watermelon. I've never. Oh, wait. Actually, do we actually even have it in our inventory yet? Are people actually eating it? 
Oh, there it is right there. Watermelon basket. Good to know. Oh, we're good there. Okay. I might build the barracks building, actually. That's one of my next buildings to do. Custom barracks. I like it. It's got enough room for eight people. And, I mean, that's probably all we're going to need. And the plan will be to build it kind of where, where one of the entrances is going to be. Like, the main entrance is going to be over here. So maybe if we built it like so. Only problem is there's some stuff on... Damn it. On the side of the building there that... Like if I did it there and said, okay, well, I don't, don't need you, and I don't need you. And don't need, I mean, the big wall banner might be the problem of this thing. Oh, no, actually, no, that's good. So maybe do something like this. So our guards are all going to be near the main entrance. But then if we build a base, for example... <sighs> Hmm. Yeah, it's one of these things where I like the way the house looks. But at the same time... Actually, no, we can change the color. That's the same kind of wood, right? Yeah. And then that's the same as this. I mean, that actually doesn't look too bad as our, like, a main spot for our troops. It'll be, whoa! be near the main entrance drop my headset cord and then have the main wall going across here just three wide actually that might not be a bad idea I'm gonna leave that there for now because they're still finishing up these. Or are they taking them apart? Oh, they're taking them apart. Okay. But anyways, that is the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.